Uh, it's definitely increased substantially in the last, I would say, last two years. And uh, the main reason for that, of course, is that broadband and high-speed access to the internet is becoming completely available to many different peoples all over the world. So it's a very, the answer really is it's a very high penetration, uh, mainly increasing uh, over the last uh, couple of years. Now, well, applications are very varied these days. Uh, I have an expression which I use a lot, it's called ubiquitous participation. What that means is that people not only look for information, but they actually participate with one another. So the whole idea of search is changing, it's becoming more discovery, and that's because of this uh, participation. And uh, so there are many different ways of participating, many different applications. Of course, social networking is a very important one that started really in the consumer space, but has now moved into the business space as well. And uh, there are, of course, uh, other aspects of participation. Uh, everything has become open source. Open source used to be software, software development and soft open source software available to anyone who wanted it. Uh, open source has now really moved into all sorts of fields. So, for example, reporting on the news, that used to be the exclusive domain of reporters who were employed by newspapers and TV channels and so forth. But nowadays, of course, everyone is a reporter. You have your cell phone uh, with your camera in it and you can photograph and send in either by email or text or whatever the information. And in fact, um, TV channels encourage and invite that sort of thing. So everything's gone open source. So there are many different applications. This is a sea change in human behavior that has taken place, where uh, people have really, the con both the consumer and the employee, have come out of their shells. They've become much more assertive, much more participative. It's what I call the age of emergence. We always talk about convergence convergence of technologies, convergence of applications. That's all very important, but what they've given rise to is the age of emergence. And I can give you a, an example. Um, going back uh, oh, a long time now, and it's always useful to revisit uh, early concepts in a new era. And uh, the concept um, uh, that I can mention one of them is Marshall McLuhan's concept. He published a, a book um, which was the media, uh, the medium is the massage, not the message, the massage. And his idea was that the medium, whatever it is that you use to communicate with people, actually changes you. So it massages you. Now what's interesting with the technology that we have today where the user of the output of the media can actually participate, this has caused the, um, the consumer and the employee for that matter to massage the media. So it's a two-way street now. And uh, what has happened there is of course you've seen the rise of new media where people have said, oh, well, actually, TV is not the only visual medium that interests me. In fact, lesser so than, than in, in the past. The same with newspapers and magazines. So a lot of the online new media have arisen, and that's been a push from the consumer. And uh, so the, the technologies and the use of the technology are very much intertwined and probably uh, this phenomenon is more marked, much more marked now in the 21st century than it ever has been. Well, the audience, um, I, have a, I have a name for the audience. Um, 
and it's unique uh, to ourselves, PricewaterhouseCoopers, because, uh, you know, I coined the name and, and so it's ours. Uh, and that is the self-sumer. What is a self-sumer? So the consumer has, as I've already mentioned, come out of his shell or her shell, become much more assertive, much more knowledgeable, and uh, much more capable in dealing with new technologies and has transformed herself into the self-sumer. So the self-sumer says, I will choose the medium that's suitable for me at this particular time of day, on this particular day, for this particular topic. And I also won't be dictated to by hard sell advertising. That's not for me. I, as a self-sumer, will discover for myself what are the cool things that I should be buying, doing, uh, traveling to, uh, communicating about, uh, finding new friends to discuss, and so forth. And I will use many different modes of technology. So I'll use social networking, I'll use collaborative software. If I'm in a work situation, uh, I'll use uh, review uh, websites, which will give me not just canned reviews, but the ability to communicate, to interact, to participate in a discussion of how Miss X enjoyed her visit to the Black Sea. So it's a whole new game and it's a sea change in human behavior. This is not a passing fad because technology has really unleashed and, and formed the self-sumer. So uh, very powerful new concepts are, are, are happening. 